Various of our presenters today have spoken about the importance of integration, connecting systems. Um, Dean showed how um, surveys got integrated with back office. Um, all of that is done by wizardry that um, a team within, um, land, uh, within the um, Landfolio um, uh, business that we call uh, implementation engineering um, does for us. And that team um, um, with, a few other, um, with a few other groups um, uh, that combines our technical services um, team is run by Jonathan Davids. And it's going to be a pleasure to hand over to John now. Thank you, Bill. Good afternoon, everyone. So as Bill said, I'm here to chat with you about integrations. And of course, we've heard quite a bit about integrations today already. But I'll start off by talking about integrations in general, and then delve into Landfolio's history of integrating with other systems, because of course, this is not new. I'll introduce Landfolio's integrations toolkit, and describe how integrations add value to any Landfolio implementation. We'll then take a closer look at that Landfolio um, integrations toolkit, and I'll run you through a few examples of where we've implemented integrations for various clients. So what are integrations all about? We live in a world of integrated systems. Sometimes we might, may think that we, that we live, work, or, or exist in isolation as a, as a standalone entity. But in reality, we are part of a bigger system. And often, that bigger system has multiple subsystems. And those systems, um, they're so well integrated that we can come to think of them as, as a, you know, a single system or a single entity. So I'm sure many of you who got to Cape Town this week would have arrived in an airplane. It's a perfect example of a, of a single entity, right? But in reality, it's made up of many systems and many subsystems. But they're all just so integrated so well that we, that we think of it as a single um, system. And so it is with our organizations. We can think of our organizations as systems of systems, multiple departments that are well integrated and they work together, right? Barton organizations implement various computing systems to help manage many interrelated departments and functions of the business. So an organization might implement an ERP system, an enterprise resource planning system that attempts to manage a wide range of core business activities, from accounting to operations, human resources, and beyond. Or the organization may implement a number of more focused enterprise systems, such as Salesforce for a customer relationship management system, or Oracle for accounting and finance. There are also more general purpose systems, um, such as document management systems or database management systems, or more specialized systems like geographic information systems. The picture I'm trying to paint is that we live in a world of integrated systems. Um, so our challenge when implementing Landfolio is to remember that the implementation does not happen in a vacuum. Landfolio needs to be integrated into the existing organization with all its existing systems and challenges. And, and Landfolio needs to be flexible enough to evolve with the changing needs of the organization and the changing technologies that may be used by the organization in future. And that's where integrations come in. Now, I should emphasize that integrations are not new to Landfolio. Um, one can say that Landfolio has always had integrations um, because we've always had this ability to get information in and out of Landfolio in, in, in various ways. Um, and Landfolio has always been able to connect to various integrate, um, into other enterprise systems. So a few examples of that. Um, I'll remind everyone that, of course, Landfolio is built on Microsoft SQL Server relational database platform. And um, for a long time, we've had a set of standard database views that our data team uses ex extensively for, for reporting, dashboarding. Um, and we've also had clients who, who have used Microsoft's built-in SQL Server integration services to automate um, data ingestion into Landfolio. 
Now, I wouldn't recommend that our clients go that route, and I'm speaking, I'll speak in a moment about uh, a, a, bit, a better set of, um, well, the toolkit, a better set of mechanics of how to, how to integrate with Landfolio and how to get information in. Nonetheless, um, a few other examples. Uh, Landfolio's always had GIS at its core, leveraging ArcGIS technology, as we've heard a fair amount uh, about today. Um, so we could always serve data out of Landfolio in the form of map services. We could always bring uh, compliant uh, map services into Landfolio, and Toby mentioned the extended support for WMS and WFS and other OGC compliant um, services. And of course, Landfolio has for a long time been able to integrate with document management systems like SharePoint and others. So let's move on to talking about Landfolio's integration toolkit, which I describe as a set of tools, technologies, and patterns for integrating with Landfolio. Here's a simplified diagram. Integrations or the integrations toolkit allows us to, do, to implement integration software that sits between Landfolio and other enterprise systems. I'll go into a little more detail and show you some examples very soon, but for now, suffice it to say, that implementing integrations adds a lot of value to any organization or landfill implementation. So let me say a few words about that. If we can have effective integrations and we can keep systems in sync, we believe that that will add a lot of value to, to any implementation. An integration um, that can have an obligation scheduled in Landfolio and then automatically have that obligation reflected in another, in another system uh, a good example of that might be a financial obligation that, like a monthly rental payment, um, that can be pushed into your accounts, accounting system automatically. Imagine then a payment being received by the finance department, captured in that system, and having a record of that immediately synced to Landfolio so that everybody's on the same page that that obligation has been met. Imagine how much time and energy that would save. So integrations can be used to automate work. There's an element of automation in that payment example I just used. It certainly eliminates uh, duplication of effort um, by needing to manually capture things in, in multiple places. Um, but imagine a system whereby, for example, a portal user registers um, to use an online transactional portal. And um, we can have an integration that automatically checks the user's identity or their tax compliance status. Um, by looking it up in some other government department's uh, registry or database. If we can keep systems in sync in this way that I describe, organizations could probably make better decisions about the, the kinds of software that they, that they adopt for, for different purposes. Because instead of in, uh, implementing some nebulous enterprise resource planning system, you could make better choices around using more fit-for-purpose software and systems that do well at the, 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 the job that they're designed to do. And as long as you can have integrations keeping those systems in sync, um, you can keep users happy using the systems that they're more familiar with and more comfortable using. In the interest of time, let's, um, let's move on to take a closer look at that integrations toolkit and, and there's some examples. So in brief, just five components I'd like to highlight. The first one is what the, the webhook service, this, the, the role of the webhook service is to um, monitor the Landfolio database and let our integrations know as soon as something of interest has happened in Landfolio. Then we have the web API, which makes available a set of secure web endpoints through which we can send information to Landfolio or retrieve information from Landfolio. We also have a software development kit, or an SDK, that allows software developers to write code that makes programmatic calls to that web API to retrieve information from Landfolio or, or write to it. And then we have some relatively new functionality in Landfolio uh, that I'll mention in the, same, in the same breath here when it comes to integrations is our ability to schedule exports and imports of information. This ends up being a very powerful tool by which we can send information to other systems, and I'll show you an example of how that, that works. For completeness, I'll mention that Landfolio has for a long time had a plugin framework, and what that means is that Landfolio is designed in such a way that 
you can add custom code to certain aspects or key functionality in Landfolio, and then Landfolio can go ahead and, and access that internal system. So let's say these, see these components again in a graphical form. As I mentioned, we have the Webhooks component. It's going to, not to notify our integration every time something of interest happens in Landfolio. That integration software will be written to leverage what we call the SDK. And the SDK can make web API calls back to Landfolio to retrieve information or even write information to Landfolio. Armed with everything it needs, it can then make the calls to the other enterprise system or retrieve information from the other enterprise system to achieve some, some work. The final step might then be to um, write some final transaction to Landfolio. For completeness, as I said, I mentioned the plugin framework, um, whereby plugins can also access enterprise systems directly. And then I'll show, just graphically, our scheduled exporters that produce a document, or a CSV v file, or an Excel spreadsheet. Uh, that can be optionally ingested by the integration that sits in between, and then pushed along to the enterprise system, or it could even go directly. And then on the reverse journey, of course, many enterprise systems do allow for scheduled exports, which we can then either place in a folder for Landfolio to just automatically ingest, or we can have an integration that sits in between, um, intervene, maybe add some additional information to the spreadsheet, maybe change the format, and then send it along to, to Landfolio. Okay. So let's get into, into some actual examples. User management. Um, I, as you all know, Landfolio has a database of users. And users log into Landfolio. And Landfolio has the ability to authenticate against Microsoft Active Directory, where all your domain users are stored. In an environment where Landfolio is deployed in the cloud, Landfolio doesn't have direct access to Microsoft Active Directory. And so we need to make that same call via um, to external identity providers, as long as they support the SAML uh, authentication protocol. Landfolio also has the ability to do what we call Active Directory Sync, which allows Landfolio to connect, again, directly to Microsoft Active Directory, and then synchronize into Landfolio the appropriate users and groups. So the problem one of our clients had is that in this environment, we had Landfolio deployed to the cloud, and, and the Active Directory Sync tool wasn't designed to do this direct access to Microsoft Active Directory over the cloud. But the client was quite comfortable um, with, uh, with an enterprise system that they had that they could produce an export or a CSV file of all of their active users. And so we engaged with this client and had them write an export of their users, upload it to the cloud, cloud where an integration could pick it up, and we could use the web API to create those same groups and users in Landfolio. Let me show you then uh, an example of identity verification. And in fact, we've spoken about this a little bit in the, in the Malawi um, uh, the presentation earlier, earlier today, in fact. Um, in any typical Landfolio portal implementation, the user will go through new re you know, user registration and the workflow will guide the user to capturing more uh, personal details. We can have webhooks pick up when those personal details come in and have it trigger an integration that makes a call to the national identity system to verify the identity of that person. If successfully ver verified, the integration then goes back to Landfolio and closes a certain action or flags it in such a way to, to confirm that this user and all their details are exactly as the, the NRB in this case um, has for that, for that person. A very simple, similar structure for, for the example of document verification. Again, uh, just to talk through it, um, in this case, uh, a portal user can initiate a transfer workflow they provide a certificate to, to prove that they are the rightful owners of this piece of land that they're trying to, 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 uh, to transfer. And we have an integration that, that picks up all the details of that certificate and checks it against the Revenue Authority's certification system and then writes back to Landfolio the, the details that it found. So very powerful stuff. One more example of an integration 
has no other enterprise system on the right-hand side there because it's an example of, and in fact, this is for, in PNG, MRA. I think Miriam may have spoken about this, um, where the client has their end users upload health and safety information via a spreadsheet. We then have an integration that picks up that spreadsheet, basically downloads the file, reads the data, and then puts the details back onto structured data, which is in a, in a, in a more raw format, where it can be directly reported on um, and decisions can be made. I'll show you one last example, integration with financial systems. This is perhaps a more, com more complicated example, um, but really the mechanics are pretty much the same. It's just that when it comes to financial integrations, there are a few different ways you can do things, and so um, it can again be a bit more complicated. So we could have the, the usual uh, pattern whereby Webooks tells us uh, uh, that some financial obligation that's been scheduled in Landfolio has come to exist, Webooks can tell our integration about it, and, um, and the integration then can do, do the, the work that, that, that should follow. But in an, when it comes to accounting systems, a pattern that is used more commonly is to do these things in batch at the end of the business day. And so this style of integration will usually have a timer um, triggering the integration. But the same pattern you know, continues besides the, the timer element, which is to retrieve details about the, the web API from, um, from Landfolio, tell the financial system, hey, these customers are new since yesterday, and these invo invoices are due for payment. And I guess at that time, uh, the integration could ask the financial system, can you tell me about any payments that have been made today? And that can be sent back to, to Landfolio. But again, when it comes to financial systems, they t clients tend to want to batch that um, as a once-a-day process. Nonetheless, the same mechanic supply, which is to use the integration uses the Web API, marks the ob obligation as paid. But there's another way we can achieve this, um, and it's through that scheduled export functionality. It might be slightly frowned upon <laughs> to just use a file export, but it turns out that many financial systems allow little more than a file-based exchange of information as their main mechanism of, of integration. And so it's great that, that Landfolio has the simple and flexible functionality to export um, data on a scheduled basis. I am out of time, but I'll just wrap up with this slide. Of course, I'm just showing the reverse journey there where once a day, all payments that have been received can be exported from the financial system, either made directly available to Landfolio by the scheduled importer, or the integration can pick it up, manipulate the file in some way, and then pass it along to Landfolio's scheduled importer. So that's the complete picture. If I had more time, I could probably tell you about many more integrations and many more um, exciting uh, Exciting, exciting work we've done, um, but I knew time would be limited, and um, I just wanted to show those mechanics and those elements of the Landfolio Integrations Toolkit today. Thanks very much to my uh, implementation engineering team, or the team that specializes in integrations. Um, they work hard to work with business analysts, interact with clients, and get these requirements and get these, these integrations um, developed for our clients. So thank you very much, and thank you for your time and attention.